that the human voice is first expressed in birth. Um, and of course, thoughts about the womb and the prenatal environment came to mind. Um, I thought about uh, the image of uh, Odyssey 2001 and that baby, that fetus that's encapsulated inside a cosmos, uh, um, encapsulated inside a womb that is a planet. And that is what I wanted to communicate through Gemini. This is the first time really that, um, uh, that I've, uh, together with uh, my collaborator, Professor Craig Carter from the Department of Material Science and Engineering at MIT, is the first time that we've designed a chaise that is so large in scale, and also a chaise that combines between different digital fabrication technologies. 3D printing with the Conex 3 materials was magical. Um, it was a kind of an alchemy. Uh, because you can really uh, uh, print an instrument, a musical instrument, as an architectural piece. Uh, and dreaming about what it means to sit inside or to lie down inside a musical instrument um, has inspired us to explore the potential of varying material composition to achieve different uh, types of acoustical effects. Uh, the new concept allowed us to, uh, to user uh, control three different degrees of level, three different parameters. The first one is color uh, between magenta and yellow, all shades. Uh, the second one is transparency level, you can see it here. And the last one is rigidity of material. Uh, as you can see, each part, each bubble of the print, uh, of the print has different, uh, different opacity, uh, different shore value, and different color. The chaise is designed um, using curved surfaces that tend to uh, reflect the sound inwards. The surface structure scatters the sound and reflects it uh, into the 3D printed skin that absorbs that sound and creates a sound absorbing, a very, very quiet and calm environment. Uh, we've used 44 materials, 44 digital materials with preset mechanical combinations to vary the degree of elasticity, thereby varying the degree of sound absorbance depending on curvature. The Conex 3 really um, introduces the designer to a palette that is endless uh, because one can think about varying the structural properties, the environmental properties, the acoustical properties, um, perhaps even the fragrance of the material itself. Uh, one can think about those materials uh, as a kind of a um, cooking process with different spices and different smells and different effects and it's just endless.